Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Florida Drive-By. Uh, it's about uh, 2.20 in the afternoon. Um, just passing, I'm going to be passing some of these exits here. I'm on the uh, 275 northbound, 19 northbound. Um, heading to St. Petersburg, Florida. But I hope everybody's doing healthy, healthy and wise. Uh, and it's uh, 90 degrees. And today is August 14th, 2015. Uh, boy, how time flies. I did want to bring up something today. Uh, it's about engraving guns. And I guess uh, my discussion here is about uh, do you, I mean, do you like engraved guns? And do they, do they add value to a gun? Um, I know there's a lot of engravers out there. Uh, here we got a really nice one uh, in uh, Florida, out here in Largo, Florida. Uh, and he does uh, a lot of firearms. Uh, he's authorized by a cult to do their guns. So, uh, but, you know, as far as doing engraving on them, and uh, I know there's a bunch of different types. Uh, I was thinking of, since I'm going to be keeping my dueler probably for a very long time, taking that handy highly polished, okay, and then after I highly get it polished, uh, I wanted to go ahead and get it engraved, get some engraving on the, um, underneath the top, maybe the sides, and I think he, the uh, engraver does polish guns, so if he can polish it, uh, you know, I, parts of it are matte, and I really don't want engraving on the part that's matte, because I think if you engrave it where it's mad, then if you ever get a scratch on the mat and you try to refinish that, it's going to be a pain in the ass without interfering with the engraving. So I think really nice, uh, a nice engraving would look really nice on the gun. I'm not sure where and what size, but uh, my prismatic dueler, which is a dual barrel 45, uh, I think it's going to look pretty cool. Even coal leaf would be nice, but that probably, I don't know how good that would be and how that would hold up, how durable it would be. But uh, I'm definitely thinking of at least the mat areas getting those polished. You can get some engraving on that. Uh, I mean, maybe a little bit on the side. Uh, I'd like your opinion on engraving, what you think. Because I'm just uh, finding out about this now. I'm kind of new to it. I know they do firearms. You want to get it right because uh, if you take it to somebody who don't know what they're doing, they're gonna, they only get one shot and you screw up your gun. I mean, uh, that'd be horrible, huh? Especially if you have a collectible gun. You know, you don't want that thing to get uh, all cummed up. It would be horrible. And as you can see, I'm going over the St. Petersburg Bridge, uh, Skyway Bridge it's called. I think it's called the Sky, Skyway Bridge. This is a new bridge that uh, they built. Because the other one I think got hit by a ship. It's up to the left. You can't really see it here. But they now use it for a fishing pier. You might see it more when we go over this bridge. But you might not in the barricades. We're way up in the sky right now, man. We're way, way up high. Kind of amazing if you think about it. Yeah, let me know what you think about the engraving and uh, how do you think uh, maybe the dual barrel 45 prismatic dueler would work. Also, other guns. I even thought about getting my Desert Eagle engraved. Yeah, you know, some fancy stuff. And it does have wooden grips, my Desert Eagle, so I was thinking uh, there's another guy that does nature scenes and stuff in the wood. That would have sweet. You know, nature scenes in the wood and maybe some scenes model portion of it uh, in the uh, but I don't, I don't know exactly what this guy could do, but uh, you know, I got a lot of time, I might be able to in a few weeks or so, and just see what it costs. Now you can see down there on the left, that's the part of the old bridge, you see it? And uh, it's actually the fishing pier there, and that's where uh, there's a bridge, and we're coming up closer to it now. Yeah, there was a bridge there, and that bridge actually is part of itself. On this 
side and then the opposite side of this brochure, there's remnants of that here. And that's what we can fish on. So that's kind of neat. And uh, it, it goes for some, it, you know, it, it produces some really good fishing because uh, you guys can get out pretty far in the water and really, you know, get some probably good fishes. So, but thanks a lot. That's uh, my little drive by here. And I am on, like I say, it's actually the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. That's what this is called. Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Uh, and this is two, it's uh, five northbound, I guess. Uh, 19 northbound. I think it's 275. But thanks a lot. Uh, have a day. And uh, please subscribe. Please comment. And tell me if you want me to do any other type of videos. Because, uh, you know, uh, I will. I can do it special for you guys. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.